what's happening people so we're going to talk about national average fuel prices fuel surcharge and um, what's going on at the Department of Energy so obviously where I'm at I get a fuel surcharge on top of my line already now that is based off of what the national average of diesel is the last couple of weeks, the Department of Energy website has not posted an update and that we have not been seeing an update in fuel surcharge. Now, I'm, I've been looking uh, at the, the cost of fuel and it's definitely gone up the last couple of weeks. Uh, I get notifications from Nastic still, stuff like that. And I can see across the, across the board, my fuel cost has gone up a couple of cents uh, per mile. So I went to the Department of Energy website, I think it's EIA.gov, whatever it is, uh, to try and get an update this morning. And on the, on the website, it says they're gonna pretty much be using a new matrix to measure the price of fuel. Well, we did some number crunching uh, from some past weeks, and it looks like the new matrix is going to drive down the average cost or the national average of fuel. So, is the government manipulating their numbers and their matrix of measuring this stuff to show a lower number? I don't know. Something doesn't make sense here, people. Uh, I don't know if this administration is up to no good to try and drive down the, the national average like I was talking to someone and they used the example of the unemployment where they now don't count people would have been on unemployment longer than a certain period of time and so then people don't even get counted in any unemployment numbers anymore is the government doing something there with something like that is I mean I know there's some states not charging fuel tax right I mean Georgia are they now trying to calculate that into their numbers I just find it very odd that the numbers were hitting all-time highs with fuel prices right and we're now gonna go and change the rules of the game we're now gonna change how we measure the cost of fuel or the national averages so I don't know guys go and look at the Department of Energy and their website and the national fuel averages and tell me what you think is, is the government trying to manipulate stuff here i don't know and i mean how about let's talk about this how about the backlog i mean you know the company i work for are they going to back pay me for the last couple of weeks if it's gone up and down are they going to back charge me what what's what's going to happen guys what's going to happen so Anyway, I'm going to get off here. I just wanted to uh, put it out there and, uh, you know, let you guys do some investigative work. Tell me what you guys think. I just find it very interesting. So, anyway, guys, I'm out. I'll catch you later.